Check it out, folks. If you guys didn't know by now, Pat Neely and myself, we started a brand new channel called the Grilling TV Network. Go by, check it out, subscribe, and enjoy this video. Check it out. After seeing that thumbnail, I know why you are here. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a breakfast sandwich on steroids. Let's get it. Okay, as you can see, it's not a whole lot of ingredients, right? And as always, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Okay, so look, today I'm gonna be making all of this on my griddle, right? Now don't let the griddle like, you know, like get you discouraged or nothing like that, because I'm gonna tell you one way you can look at it. To me, when I see that, that's just a large cast iron skillet, right? So super simple. Oh, and I set it up in zones. When I started putting down the uh, bacon, I'm gonna show you guys just exactly what I mean, right? So I'm just gonna do six, right? So I'm gonna come over here. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna lay these out just like this. Now, in just one second, I'm gonna demonstrate to you how I do my zones, right? This side over here, where you see me putting down the bacon, this we gonna call this the hot zone, right? This is where all my heat is at. Then when I go to do everything else, hash browns, it'll be like my middle, my medium, right? And then I gotta have a zone where it's like low heat. That's what we gonna do the pancake. All right, so now, look, I got my Canadian bacon. This ain't nothing but circular ham. I don't know what it means. Maybe that bacon came from Canada or something like that. But if you ask me, this ain't nothing but ham <laughs> cut like this. Okay, so look, if you've been following this channel, you know I save my bacon fat, right? Wish I could get that right there. But when I'm in the inside, I save it. Look, I'm gonna take just a little bit of this and just go ahead and just put that on the griddle, just like that, right? Now, I'm just gonna move this around. I got it, we making bacon. But that's why I didn't put none over there on that side, right? But if I take it, I just do this, because we finna do our hash browns and get them going. You know what I mean? You wanna have a little spot for those. All right, so now I'm just gonna take these off. You know what I mean? Just got me like a paper line plate. Obviously this is uh, aluminum, right? We just stick them on here like that. Get rid of some of that, you know, let the paper towel absorb some of the, uh, some of the grease, right? And then notice how this is. That's when you bring the heat up. See how it didn't crinkle up like that so much? When you bring the heat up gradually, that's how you make the bacon like that, folks. Okay, so look, I've been making Canadian bacon and all of that. Look, now we're gonna go ahead and just add Check it out, I'm gonna go ahead and just add my hash browns. Now we are starting to cook. All right, so we'll take some of these off. Just like that. Okay, so now we are just gonna make our pancake mix, right? Now you guys use whatever pancake mix you like. You know what I mean? I think I got this ratio right. I'm gonna use that, right? And then we are gonna go ahead, take one of these, drop an egg in there too. We just go ahead and give this a whisk. Keep working this in. We want to get the right consistency, right? Now we're finna come over here and look back at this grill. Come on, you look at this right here. This is nice. Now we're gonna go ahead and just flip these. Look at that. Okay, so once I got the texture I like, look at that right there. That's it. You can actually go just a little bit thicker, but this is it right here. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this. Let me keep quiet so you guys can see. Okay, so now we flip them. Look at that right there. And then for me, ho! And that there, folks, is how you do it. Okay, so now we take it and we just flip it over just like this. I'm actually gonna break this up a little bit. Get this hash brown. It's okay. It can marinate a little bit inside of that, you know, that butter. I mean, excuse me, that bacon grease. But we keep it like that. And then for those of you guys that got that OCD and need to like really like just bring it back to shape, here you go. All right, so we take these, these are nice and hot. Look at these right here. One thing about having a griddle, folks, listen, you can create that magic. You know what I mean? Whoo, look at that. We put that there. I'm gonna start from the back. Look at this right here. And then we stack him, right? Butter. 
stack butter y'all get to just stack butter and put that on the top now i'm going to make a couple of more and get a little bit more familiar with you guys when you guys go to mcdonald's and you get that mcgriddle let's go ahead and create something like that now we go ahead and just make these two final ones you know what i mean uh size is crucial that's a good size there and then we make the other one right here all right so look check it out this is what we do you want them flavor you know those same type of pancakes slash sandwich bun you know what i mean just go ahead and just put a little bit of this on here like this you know what i mean uh be careful i should have put my finger over the spout you know what i mean but we just want to get a little bit in there and that'll do it right there trust me folks this is the level up then we're gonna take it do it like this we got a little bit right there Ooh we two eggs bacon two sausages eggs over easy pick it up okay y'all y'all remember the hash browns right what you thought they wasn't going look i'm gonna go ahead and just put a little cheese on them just like this right let's just put this over here and then we'll do it like that we'll just let this naturally do its thing now i want you to come over here and take a look at this i didn't turned off my zone here because i can see that it's a little hot but i want you to look right here you see that right there that's what your grandma used to make when she made that you know that little edge right there that's crispy tell me that don't make you say shut your mouth So then if you just want to go ahead and help it steam, you put a little water around here. This is just a heads up trick, right? And that'll help that, that cheese melt. And then you gotta do your eggs any kind of way you want to do them. But for me, you know how your boy do them. I like mine over easy. Go ahead and hit it with a little, little pepper. As you can see, it don't take long, folks. Now, I like pepper. It's up to you how you want to do yours. We finna start this assembly. And you can't have no eggs without a little bit of salt. Right? It's a little bit of, ah, that's it right there. Okay, so you know what time it is. You didn't see me flip them eggs, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna just start right here. Like I said, I'm making a sandwich, right? So look, that's my bottom bun. You know what, we'll just go ahead and just put this Canadian down first, right? All right, now that we got that, you know what, just for good measure, and I got it, the police is out there talking about, oh my God, but you wanna talk about something good? This is him right here, folks. We put that on there. Look, I'm finna come over here to the grill, like that, and then we just put this right here so it'll be over the top. Could have cut a bigger one, but that's what we got right now, all right? So I'll bring this over here like this. Now we're gonna come with a little bit of this bacon. Go ahead and break these up like this so we can get bacon all over, you know? Just put it on any kind of way you would like, right? Don't forget, it's just a sandwich, folks. And when I say do me, I'm gonna go with this one with the spread on it. Look at that right there. Oh my God. Y'all talk to me down in the comment section below. Is this too much? Hey, already you wanna tear into that, right? Because for me, I can't never have enough meat. I just put it like this, right? Then we gotta put this on top. I just wanna show you guys again. You see that edge right there? I know, folks. Sometimes when y'all make pancakes, it don't really do that, or your first one does. But I'm gonna go ahead and just get a little bit like that. I don't care how messy it is. Uh, and that right there is a breakfast. When I say a breakfast sandwich, I mean this is a breakfast sandwich on steroids. Look at that right there. Okay, folks, you didn't see all of that. I mean, if, if your mouth truly isn't watering right now, you might want to schedule yourself a, uh, a doctor's appointment because something ain't firing up here in, in them uh, synapses or something like that, right? Anyway, check it out. Look at this. I don't want to talk about it no more. Oh, man, I just want to dig in. You see that? Mm. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Come here. Woo-hoo. Look at that. I'm not gonna lie, folks. It take a lot for me to be at a loss of words. Listen, every time I make something like this, and it kind of like changes. You know what, I just did this by the fly, but the point is, listen, it's at the end of spring, we end of the summer, 
you know, coming right up. Listen, you got to make this. You know what I mean? Utilize the time you can spend outside, you know, with your family, your friends, and all of that. You put these out. You can't make them fast enough before they go. Hey, with that being said, listen, let me know down in the comment section below. I don't want to, like, drag this on. I don't want to talk about nothing else because I'm ready to finish this, right? So, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there. Listen, there's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I know y'all said it along with me, but guess what? I'm out. Peace.